Oh, yeah. Talk about excited. So the other day I finally got my shipment of my Smooth On. Smooth On. Umu 25. That's a silicone rubber compound. Parts A and parts B. And wasn't cheap. And I ordered this set from Dick Blick. Um, the people who make it do not sell it, at least if they sold it. I think the shipping was a lot more than I would have paid on Dick Blick. So I ordered it from Dick Blick. Took them a good week to process the order, which was not cool, but at least it arrived. So, uh, as you could see, I was playing around with it. And this was the first one that I did earlier tonight. And it is nice and hard. It's ready to come out. Um, I have a pretty good crystal collection from being a holistic practitioner. And I just have always loved co collecting crystals. These are the ones that I didn't do. That's all the stuff that I haven't done yet. But this is my most prized... Um, uh, crystal cluster that I own and I've had it for many 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 years and I just love it and the problem is it's got tons of tall tall crystal points all over it and so I thought well I I, I couldn't afford to mold the whole piece but my goal is to make molds where I have the tips of crystals for the projects that I'm going to use them for once I resin them. So my goal is making uh, short pieces where I can pour just a little bit of resin because I have, I have ideas on what I'm going to do with these. So I actually, as my last, my last pour, um, I dumped a a bunch onto this cluster and I did it where the crystals were at the lowest point so I was still getting a lot of shiny crystals and here you see this is where a couple of the crystals were sticking up and what I did was I came back um, mixed up a second batch and poured more over top of those crystal points that you know once it starts setting and stretching and it gets really thin where the crystals are sticking up and you don't want that to happen because you're going to put resin in these molds so you got to make that thick so I did two coats on this one and this was the very last one that I poured I took my um, this was a really nice half of a geode filled with druzy crystals and I could not figure a way to get it to mold out. So I went outside with a sledgehammer and I broke the geode apart. I get these beautiful geodes, round, solid, for between six and eight bucks at the crystal shop where I go to. So I can get them at any time. They come from Brazil and Mexico. So I decided to fill this little one with the silicone mold pieces of that geode I covered and this is three coats on top of this little piece and it's a whole juicy piece of mini crystals um, this piece here is a amethyst cluster this is the third coat three coats on that piece um, and I didn't see anybody doing it this way I couldn't find any videos on people um, making silicone molds out of crystal clusters. So I just decided to wing it. And I saw someone painting with latex and making molds. So I just used that technique. So this is uh, three coats on top of the other piece of the crystal uh, geode. And these are going to be all dru little tiny druzy cl uh, clusters. This here was one of my big amethyst pieces. And, you know, if I had put this inside of this mold, I would have used a lot of my silicone mold making um, 
liquid. So I didn't want to waste any, so I decided to, again, this is the third coating over top of the crystal points. And I have two clusters inside of these cups. And you see I taped across it to make it oblong so that there was no space, no, uh, so that there is space around the crystal cluster and it's not touching the cup. When it was just round, it was touching the cup. So I decided to make it this shape to give me just a little space around the sides of the cluster so that it's still a good mold. So those two are little clusters inside of there. And this is another, um, this is a flat cluster, comes up to about here. And I'm, I'm gonna cut these out. I'm gonna try to film it. Um, not in my workshop where I have my camera holders. I'm actually in the kitchen and look, I had to turn the oven on to bring the kitchen up. We only keep our house at 70 degrees and it's bitter freezing cold here in the Pennsylvania mountains. So I came up to the kitchen and I also wore my goggles and I wore, um, one of my smaller respirators just because I've developed an allergic reaction to chemicals now since doing the resin art. So this was the first one that I did and it's really hard now. I know it's ready to take out and I know I'm going to have to slice these molds up the sides to get them out. And without a camera holder here, I don't think I'm going to be able to film that part. So, um, Maybe I will transfer down to the basement so that maybe I could do this on a live and actually it's my first time doing it. So maybe you can witness me doing it and we could see it all together. So I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. And like I said, I couldn't find any videos of anyone doing any crystal clusters with the mold, uh, the silicone molding. And I did like the part that I saw, um, what was that company's name? I think it's Tab or Tag. I can't remember, but they have a, they sell different products, silicones, latexes, uh, resin molding stuff. They have a bunch of different products. And I saw a video where they were painting the latex over top of things in three, three to four different coats. So it took a little while to make the molds two hours in between each drying session. And I thought that's pretty cool. So that's what I ended up kind of doing to these. Um, I didn't see any, any mold videos on anyone doing any crystal clusters, but I have plans for these crystal cluster molds. And I really just wanted the tips of the crystals and I wanted them to be about this thick because I'm going to be using these in future projects, which you are going to see. And I just pray that all this comes off of my most prized cluster. And I hope it brings um, help to someone else like myself, who's an artist and is looking for tips on how to do this. So the only one that I sprayed a mold release, and it wasn't even a mold release because they're $13, $14 a can and up. So what I did was I had gone to get a uh, coconut cooking spray from the dollar store. And when I sprayed it on one of the clusters, it was another cluster that was just like this one. And this cluster has little tiny crystals on top of the crystals. So there's a lot of texture there. And I was concerned and I thought they say silicone comes off of just about anything. Well, when I sprayed the coconut oil onto that, because it was only 70 degrees in here, it solidified right away. And I was afraid it was taking the shape of the cluster off and it still may have. So I only used it on one of my molds and I believe it, I believe it's this, this bigger mold that was the second one that I did. I'm pretty sure that's the one I, I put the coconut oil on. I didn't use it on anything else. So my fingers are really crossed that they're going to come off of my favorite crystals. These are my healing crystals, and I really don't want nothing to happen to them. It's taken a lot of years for me to, to collect all these. But again, I'm just hoping that I'm helping um, other resin artists or artists in general who want to make molds of crystals 
and aren't finding them on YouTube. So I hope in the end, my information is helpful and I'll give you confidence to just go for it. So I ended up using, with all that you see here, I'm going to say I used almost a pound of the silicone because these are um, one pound jars. I wanted to see. Uh, 1.20 pounds, 0 0.54 kgs. So it's a little over two pounds. And I used about this much of each jar. So I noticed that that's how much I have left. So I used about half of each one. And yeah, um, I guess I'm going to go down to the workshop then and I'll, I'll do another live. So I hope you follow on to the next video on part two. And you can check me out um, taking these apart and unmolding them. I just want to give them a little more time. And then I'm going to get to it. So I really hope I could help somebody because I watched a lot of hours of videos. And I really wasn't finding what I wanted. I found someone who had a, a two-piece or partially cut round um, video where they had a small cluster in there, but they didn't show the process. They didn't show how they did it. You just see this yellow mold, which works well, but they didn't show the process. So, um, the process is, is very generalized. Um, I didn't film the whole process. I filmed, you know, just the steps that I did, but this is a part A and part B, and you're going to mix up in the jars, I took metal knives and I mixed up the jar real good. And then I took another knife and I mixed up this jar real good. And then I poured equal amounts into um, Dixie cups. And then I took those two Dixie cups and then I poured them into a cup. And I mixed into the one cup. And then after a couple minutes of mixing them together, I poured it into a second cup. You really need to do the two cup method on this. I do that with my resin when I once I realized how much resin wasn't getting mixed in. So I I definitely follow through with the two cup method. And I did the two cup method with um, a fresh cup. And then once I got it into the cup, I picked up a fresh stick. And I just wiped off my other sticks and put them aside. And so once I stirred it up again and it was ready, this Umu 25 by Smooth On only has a 15-minute pot time. So my kitchen was cold at first, so I was having a little bit of a problem. And that's why I put my oven on, because I really needed to heat up the kitchen a few more degrees. So when I mixed up the final cup, I had everything ready. I took a hot glue gun and I had taken a little bit of hot glue in the center of my item and stuck it to the bottom of each cup to hold it in place. And then for these ones that were oblong, I put a little piece of tape and I squeezed the cup together and made it an oblong shape. So I had a, just a little bit of space around my crystal base and around the sides so that the crystals aren't sticking through. So that was my process for filling up the cups. And of course, on these ones where I poured it over top, I came back and I did um, three coats total over top of all the, the crystals. Um, because as the first layer settles, the tops of the crystals start poking through. And on this one, the crystals were kind of high, even though I picked the lowest spot on the on my beautiful crystal cluster here you see this was the highest crystal here so i had to come back again and put globs of the silicone on top to stop the the piercing of the crystal coming through because once we peel this off and we start putting resin inside of it you know it can't be real thin so we want to make it a little bit thick i mean i'm sure i should go over this another time but i'm not going to do that i'm going to see how it comes out with just this just this amount and I know on the next video when I unmold them I won't be able to show you what happens with the resin but I am going to fill them with resin and I hope on the third part 
um, that I'll be able to be showing you um, the third or fourth part, actually, um, how they came out and what the results were so that you know, so that you're not going crazy like I was for days on end, searching just were not there. So thanks for watching and um, keep watching for whatever parts go with the same title. I'll have them numbered and I appreciate you. Please like the video if you like it. Um, please subscribe if you have not. And um, at 200 subscribers, I'll be doing another giveaway. And um, share the video if you'd like to share the video. Um, I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Make something beautiful and rock 